What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be installing an electronic toll collector. Alright, I know what you're probably thinking. Teddy, a toll collector? <laughs> That's lame as f <laughs> But what if I told you there were a multitude of reasons why electronic toll collectors were awesome? Number one, duh, it's JDM. Number two, refer to reason one. So what even is a toll collector or ETC? It's pretty simple. People in Japan have these toll collectors in their glove box or on their dash or wherever they choose to put it. They put in their toll card and when they drive on the freeway or toll road or whatever, they go through the toll, bing, it charges their card, end of story. That's not what makes it so cool. The cool part is this. It's a little speaker and basically what happens is when you forget to put your toll card in the toll collector, this speaker will start blaring some mumbo jumbo in Japanese when you start your car to say, Hey dingus, remember to put your toll card in the toll collector before you drive or you're gonna get a ticket, moron. Let me just disclose that if you don't think that that's the coolest thing ever, you're probably watching the wrong channel. I'm just kidding. Please subscribe. Alright, well in the words of my father, I'm gonna get off my ass and do something for a change. So let's equip this thing with some JDMs. Well, obviously, this doesn't come with instructions. So, I'm gonna go ahead and assume? Uh, okay. Let's take a look, let's make an educated guess. Okay, so this plugs into the toll collector. I see a ground, probably power, probably accessory. How hard could it be? All right, now because people like me are the reason that stuff has warning labels, I'd like to remind all the other people that are just like me out there to disconnect your battery before you do anything like this. I hear airplanes. Oh my god, those are the coolest thing ever. Sorry, those of you that know me know that I love airplanes. Oh yeah, like I was saying, after all my FBI detective work of figuring out which color wire does what, I realized that they're all labeled. Damn it. I'd love to pull this out without breaking it. A, they're impossible to find. B, they're really expensive. Be nice. Bolt it in. I forgot all about that. Oh, maybe I just broke it. Uh -uh. Uh. Screwdriver. So, how's your guys' week been? Good? Good. Alright, because I'm going to put this thing in the glove box. I think the easiest thing to do is going to be to pull the double din out, find the ground, find power and accessory, and then I can just easily put the wiring in the glove box. Oh, Alright, remember that time where I was like, turn the battery off? You need the battery on if you're gonna use the voltmeter, so... Disregard what I said. I don't know what any of these actually mean. So this gets accessory power. Just gotta see if the thing works, right? Guys, I don't know if you heard what I just heard, but I think this may be my favorite modification I've done to this car yet. And I've done a lot, and I think this is gonna be my favorite one. All right guys, well, this install looks like it's gonna be pretty straightforward. Looks like uh, the yellow wire here says plus B. I think that's gonna be our constant power. Red looks like it's accessory power. Black obviously being ground. All right guys, I saved you the mundane part of wiring this up. So I just ran it up and through the glove box, and let's see what happens when we just turn the key. Okay. All right, the speaker, I'm gonna mount it right here in the corner. All right, I've got the tape on this thing. Thanks. All right, now we're just gonna clean up the wiring. I'll probably tie all the excess up in the dash, and uh, we'll be good to go. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and zip tie the wires into a little bundle underneath the dash, so it looks nice and clean. <laughs> Don't look, oh my god. Oh, I'm stuck.
I'm stuck. I'm definitely stuck. Nothing to it. Alright guys, everything is put back together. Install in the glove box is nice and clean. So, let's see, moment of truth. We'll turn the key. Accessory, gauges are going. All right, well, hope you guys enjoyed this install video. And if you did, do us a favor and smash that like button down below and let us know, what do you guys think about the Toll Collector? Is it tacky? Is it cool? What do you guys think? Drop us a comment down below and let us know. Also, I wanna mention that GT Channel is gonna be releasing their My Drift Car Challenge episode next week. So we're gonna be blasting it all over our Instagram, uh, our Facebook. If you don't have us on Facebook, it's facebook.com slash autofactorealize. Uh, Instagram, same thing as Autofact Realize. So definitely go check out GT Channel, subscribe to them if you haven't already. They got awesome content. They have all the old BMI stuff, uh, Best Motoring International. They have all the hot version, option, and then they have a bunch of originals also. So definitely check them out. I mean, you could spend hours watching uh, their content. So uh, go check out GT Channel. That episode, look out for it. It comes out next week. Also, stickers. I know everybody's asking for stickers. We're gonna get stickers going. Uh, pretty soon we're ready to put that order in and get those going so I know you guys are really excited for them we're super excited for them hang tight a couple more weeks maybe and stickers will be ready for you guys to purchase in the store alright guys so thanks for watching have a great weekend and we'll see you in the next one